Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. Let's do the wrap up for today. It's about 20 till 3 here, Central Standard Time. So a little bit time, a little bit of time left in the markets. Not too much though. Um, coming off a day like yesterday where the S&P had record lows, the lowest full day volume yet this year. Um, yesterday in the S&Ps, coming right into today, and there wasn't much different. So. Um, Obviously, it was a little bit more volume than yesterday, but still very, very slow. And if you guys were like me and actively trying to get involved in these markets, you just know that it was very, very far, far and few between. On uh, the live trading trade room today, I took one trade. One whopping trade, and it actually came in crude. Didn't even come in an index. So, took one small crude profit today in the trading room, and that was it. So... We are being very patient. We're trying to wait for this volume to start picking up. September is right around the corner. Volume is getting ready to start picking up. Trading is about ready to start getting active. So um, I'm just kind of warning everybody, just kind of get your plans straightened out. That way you're ready to go whenever time comes. So let's talk about some of these markets. S&P, with these low volumes, this market just continues to grind its way up. As you see here on the S&P, we just continue to grind our way to the upside here on extremely low volume. So, that's going to throw out a little bit of a red flag for me as volume ever picks up. I do see this potential to, potentially rolling over if we ever get some volume in there. But, in the meantime, I will continue to trade higher. We continue to not be able to break through the previous day's lows. As you see here, we just keep stepping our way up. Not yet have we been able to break through the previous day's lows. So it's been only looking to the long side here on the S&P and majority of the S&P and the, and the uh, stock index futures. So looky here, we're starting to get a little pop. Let's see if we can get a little pop into the close. That'll give us more confidence to the upside going into tomorrow. Um, let's look at the Russell though, something I'm, I'm very interested here. The Russell got a pop. Um, it's been a long time since we've seen the Russell kind of outperform all the other indexes, kind of like we did today. Um, the other indexes kind of, they moved up nicely, but nothing like the Russell. Russell pretty well came to, it came to play today. So, the Russell got a nice pop here. You see we had a little bit of band of resistance here and a band of resistance up here. We got a little fake yesterday, and it sold off a little bit, but we are getting a nice little pop on the Russell today. This is reassuring for you bulls going into tomorrow. So uh, as long as we are able to stay right here or even get a little pop into the close, as you see here on the Russell, that is going to settle pretty well for the bulls. So I will look for further follow-through on the to the upside here on the stock index futures. As long as we're able to push higher into the close, we got some resistance up here on the Russell. Let's go back to the S and P. We got, um, you know, we got our targets up here on the S and P at that uh, was it 2030 that we talk about, and the same way with the Nasdaq here, we got a target up here. We're about ready to hit just under the 4120, so just under that level, you can see we got a nice target up there as well. So. I still see some further upside, especially if the volume stays this light. It may just leak its way to the upside, guys. And then when volume starts to pick up in a week or so, we might want to look out because we could be getting ready for a nice little sell-off, which is fine. We'll get some good trading activity. But um, as of right now, low volume. Yesterday was record low for the year on a full day with the S&P, so uh, that tells you something. But it just keeps leaking its way to the upside here as we have low volume. One little quick peek at crude. Uh, before we take off here, crude has been very interesting for us, guys. We just keep going level to level to level, chop to chop to chop. You see we go from chop, big push, chop, nice push, chop. That's just what, that's just what it does. Chop, push, chop, and then, you know, push, chop. And we're in the middle of a chop, so we were really stressed today. we got to be real patient here. We waited as the market came up, retested this daily resistance. We weren't looking to the long side. We waited for it to roll over. When it did, we took a nice short right below the previous day's low and got a really nice trade to the short side off of that. So um, be real cautious here, guys. That's kind of the word I'm kind of putting out there today. We're trading right in the middle of this sideways chop. Understand that. You like to fade the lows, 
fade the highs until they break. Once they break, you can go with them, but don't try going with them. Don't try getting them to push out because every single time you try to get them to take off, they end up getting sucked right back up in the midpoint of this range every single time it goes into this chop. So be a little bit cautious when it comes to trading uh, the crude oil. And when it comes to trading the uh, stock index futures here, guys, as long as the volume stays low, I see this thing just continuing to leak its way to the upside. So um, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me, adam at directiontrader.com. If not, thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.